Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, and I forgot to push play on something, so here we go. And you can't hear it, because I didn't check the volume. <laughs> so, pretend like you heard the theme music. That didn't happen. Okay. Anyway, there we go. I'll stop it there, and I'll just jump back in. <laughs> in my mind, that looked way different, but it didn't happen that way. Hello, everybody. My name is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to take a walk around a thrift store, and this is a thrift store that... Oh, am I muted? That would be just... Nope, there we go. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started with today. It's not Friday the 13th yet. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I have some footage of a thrift store that I went to, so I thought we would do this together where we'd walk around the thrift store and stop in different places, and I would share with you some things that I could have picked up, would have picked up, but I was limited that day, so I thought it'd be fun just to do this together. I was going to edit it, and I said, you know what? I think this would be fun to do together. And I am live, so if there are any questions, then I will jump on them at the end, unless it's pertinent to what we're talking about in the video. So let me jump back over here. There's the video for whatever reason. I think this is not turned on. Is that why? Maybe that's why. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> that was a funny laugh, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> so this is a thrift store that I went to with my sister um this is in kerrville so this is a saint Vinny's. and if you don't have a saint Vinny's in your area there might be one in mine but i don't, I don't know not that i know of the prices at her saint Vinny's are phenomenal it's like a dream this is the only reason i'm sharing this with you is because i don't live there <laughs> if this was my honey hole there's no way on this planet i would be telling you guys about it so but i wanted to um to share this with you. <laughs> That's a lie. I probably share it with you because I, you know me. Okay, so one of the first areas I was looking at here are the cookbooks. And I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, it's really a good idea to try to have something in every section that you can look for. I know I bring this up a lot. So I don't do a lot with cookbooks, but I know when I'm looking at the cookbook section that there are like Betty Crocker cookbooks, Better Homes and Gardens. There are certain cookbooks that do pretty well. Um, but honestly, when I look at this, I get kind of overwhelmed. But it's a good idea to kind of have a few in your wheel. Is wheelhouse the right word? Wellhouse, wheel. Anyway, it's a good idea to have a few that you kind of look out for. So um, here we are looking at this, and I see a Better Homes and Gardens one down below. Oh, let me move that out of the way. And so I, I thought we would take a second to look up a couple cookbooks while 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 we're looking at them. Okay, so there's that. Transitions are there for me so that I will know what to stop on. Okay, there's the chat. Good job. Now, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, one foot in front of the other. Oh my gosh. If you're new here, I would like to welcome you. I would like to say that I am not usually discombobulated, but sometimes it happens. One foot in front of the other. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So um, I thought we would take a second to look up some cookbooks. And as I've said, there are a few that I know to look for. You know, some of the older um, Betty Crocker ones, some of the Better Homes and Gardens ones do okay. But I thought, let's just take a peek at cookbooks. Just so we have something, a unicorn, right? So I have selected buy it now um, over off to the side. Are these sold already? Oh, I did my homework. Good job, Margaret. Okay, so please tell me you talk to yourself like I do. <laughs> it will make me feel infinitely better. So just off the top of like the recently solds, uh, because I have up here, these are recently solds. And there aren't a whole lot that I'm like, wow, that is a really great one. Some of these aren't even cookbooks. Why are they here? <laughs> Somebody has them tagged wrong. But I thought, let's go over here and select um, highest, price highest plus shipping. So let's see some of these are not cookbooks can y'all explain this to me somebody must have tagged them I don't even know I'm not even seeing a cookbook tell me what you're thinking there's the flavor Bible that's the closest thing to a cookbook I've seen okay I will look in the chat and see if anybody has an explanation for why there are not cookbooks showing up here there's a few that's so weird 
Cookbook is one word, right? So much for that. Um, let's just keep scrolling. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm going to jump to Better Homes and Gardens while I'm thinking about it because we saw the Better Homes and Gardens one. Daniel's down there eating some plastic. Great. All right. And these are, again, ended recently, sold listings. So the one that was sitting there I don't think was really one that was going to be a good flip. Now, again, as I always say, it depends on what you pick it up for. You know, if you get it, get it for next to nothing, you go to a garage sale and all the books are a quarter, they say, and you grab one and you sell it for $12, then that's a great flip, I think. But if you're going to pay, and again, this this one was really cheap. So here's a Better Homes and Garden. This is an older one. They put Betty Crocker cookbook in there, which I think is... Unless this is a special Betty Crocker Better Homes and Gardens one, which I doubt. They're not really supposed to do that. Anyway, so let's take a peek by searching from highest to lowest. I still can't figure out why the cookbooks were not showing up when I searched cookbooks. So here we go. So here's another one. This is a ring bound. This, so what this one is, is basically it's a... It's a binder, right, around it. So when you open up this Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, it's got like a three-ring binder type of deal inside. So um, stuff like that. So they're quite a bit older. Julie's saying she sold a 1961 Betty Crocker picture cookbook for 50 bucks. Still, that's really good, I think. You know, here's another one. If you see this like gingham kind of plaid Better Homes and Gardens one, um, they look like they're going for about 50 bucks. So, yeah, here's some with Christmas stockings. Sweet. That's not a cookbook. I'm wondering what's going on with that. That's so weird. But anyway, that's a bolo, right? If you see one, heirloom Christmas stockings. That's good to know. Okay, now I've got that in my brain. I will remember it. Okay, again, with the cookbooks, I don't know what happened. Did I just type in cookbook? Maybe, yeah, still, cookbooks. Cookbooks, let's try that. Let's look at sold for cookbooks. But you think the singular would, would do just as well? No. What is up with that? Okay. Weird. Okay. I'm going to stop that. So um, the Better Homes and Gardens ones, if they're older, kind of the binder style, and um, depending on the year. I think that this one is a 60s. Let's see. That's a 53, first edition, ninth printing, five ring spiral. Um, this one that sold for 35 bucks was a 68. So a lot of times the older ones, you know what I mean. Okay. Try cooking in the books category. I mean, yeah, I'll have to come back and check that out. I don't want to spend too, too long. Maybe try it with two words. Yeah, those are, those are really good suggestions that I should probably do. But I don't want to spend too super long on this section. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push play again. Let's see what we have next. So next up, we're looking at some linens. These are, you know, um, paper, not paper plates, but what am I thinking of? Placemats, linens like tablecloths, bedspreads, vintage sheets, things like that. So um, you might think, you, I don't want to sell, you know, will people really buy that? Not, I don't want to sell it, but well, would, do people really buy that kind of thing? And yeah, they do. So I have just started picking up some different things again, as far as linens. And when I say linens, I mean like sheets, vintage sheets or pillowcases or placemats or tablecloths, depending on the, the brand and the maker, um, or if it's vintage and the subject matter can really do well. So, okay, so first thing I looked is placemats, just to see what has sold lately. Placemats go. Um, <laughs> Julie says, linens, that's her niche. It's incredible. Yes, and I used to do a lot more of it. And then, uh, you know, as, if you followed me for a while, you know, I kind of veered over into jewelry and stayed there for a while. Um, but here we go. So here's, uh, you know, some Ikea ones even, which, I, you know, you would think, oh, you know. I, but Ikea, once they've sold, you know, once they're done with it, and if you really like that style and they don't sell it anymore, where are you going to go? eBay. I found on eBay. Okay. Name the maker or the singer. Okay. So here we go. Um, so here are some Pimpernel. Okay. So Pimpernel is a nice brand. If you... Pimpernel sometimes, frequently, they're, or the, they're like the hard ones. They don't always have the hard ones. Um, 
the hard mats. So like you see these with the flowers right here, there's six of them. Um, so they're really rigid and floral a lot of times. Sometimes they'll have scenes on them. They also make coasters. I'm trying to think if I've seen Pimpernel ones that are fabric-y more so than the, the hard placemats. Um, so, linens. Oh yeah, okay. So um, yeah, Pimpernel's a good brand. And look, this is $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So I, I think that's a pretty good pickup. I've found Pimpernel at like, um, oh, so look, here are some, I call them, co okay, those are the coasters, yeah. Um, let's see what else we find. So here we go, these Pioneer Woman uh, round placemats. Personally, I love this style, the, the braided mat look. Um, that's what, I mean, I just do. Okay. So I would have paid for that because I like that, that style particularly. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Pioneer Woman, these, these braided ones, those ones look like they're new. Yeah, they're new. Okay. And I'm going to go do a search in just a second for highest to lowest. Here's some woven raffia ones. The best offer was accepted on those. Another brand that I like to look out for, here's some glass ones, those little teeny glass beads. You know, they're like, what are they called? Oh, goodness gracious. And my brain is going faster than my mouth right now. So, um, beaded. They're beaded, okay? They have those little, like, not quite seed beads, but like little barrel type beads. Um, so those tend to be pretty popular. But look it up and see, you know, if they're in good condition and all that. So here's, oh, the brand I was going to tell you, that I started telling you, well, is um, Pottery Barn. So if you see stuff from Pottery Barn, that stuff new is really expensive. So that's a brand that I like to look for. And um, yeah, um, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden is saying, shipping on the cork, hang on, let me move the chat up a little bit so y'all can see it a little bit better. So you'll see who I'm talking about over here. So Julie's Thrifty Paper Garden, she says, shipping on the cork back place marks Place mats are expensive to ship. True. Um, and those ones, I think it said that shipping was like $11, which if the buyer's willing to pay it, go for it. Right? That's what I say. Um, okay, let me jump back up. Here are some vintage white linen place mats. Um, 20 bucks. I have a feeling those would sit a little bit, though, because they're I see them a lot, but maybe it's just me. All right, I'm going to search highest first. And if you've got a brand that you think, oh man, th this is a brand you should really look for, then leave a comment either now or later and let us know which one you look for. Because I, I know, like, for me, if I can find Pottery Barn, that's one I can keep in my head. Pottery Barn, I know. Pimpernel, I know. Crate and Barrel, here we go, there's another one. Crate and Barrel is another expensive brand. It's kind of like in that Pottery Barn realm. Um, I don't know, McKinsey. Oh, I'm going to have to look up McKenzie. I don't know M Nicole Miller either. Well, I know that name, though, but I don't know it with housewares. Okay, so that's good to know. Those round ones, look, here's some more of the round beaded ones. Silver Max Studio. Okay. And there are some... I don't know. Yeah, some of these I'm surprised about. Nicole Miller. I guess we're going to have to get to know Nicole Miller. Um... Julie Thrifty Paper Garden saying is also Pier 1. Look at these. I would have a hard time selling these, but I think for $124, I could let them go. Secret Celebrity four-piece set Halloween. I'm going to have to definitely look that up because Nicole Miller is a brand I'm seeing that I don't really... I feel like I shouldn't... I feel like I know it, but I can't remember it. <laughs> There's another one with the lemons. Okay, so I guess if you see some round ones that look really cool... And they say Nicole Miller. They may be worth you picking up. There's some more. Nicole Miller. Nicole. Okay, now I have to Google Nicole Miller. Please don't be also a porn star or something. Nicole Miller. Nicole Miller, official site. American fashion designer. Okay. Okay, it's clothing, right? That's why I know it. Accessories. I guess Nicole Miller also does. It's not on here, though. Nicole Miller housewares. Nicole Miller Housewares. Where do you buy it? Wayfair? Sorry, we're getting off on this. Okay, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Depot. Okay, okay. Have y'all bought from Wayfair? I bought like one thing from Wayfair. Look at this. 
Okay, these rugs. Okay, don't look. Okay, let's. Moving on. We just had to have a little. <laughs> Dresses for Nicole Mill. Oh, as soon as I saw her name written out, I was like, okay, I know that for clothes, but apparently her placemats do very well also. So good job, Nicole Miller. And here's some Versace. Definitely. And okay. And I'm seeing a lot of the round ones. So I guess if you see round ones, um, take a second look at them. I did see some lower priced ones, but a lot of these that I'm seeing that are higher on the higher end are round or kind of like shaped. Like this coral is shaped like the coral or the butterfly is shaped like the butterfly. Okay, the flag. Oh look, there's the Pier 1 that Julie was talking about. Set of four, Pier 1 beaded, wait are these beaded? Beaded, patriotic. So beaded is a, looks like a good find. Round, Nicole Miller. Okay, cool deal. Pimpernel, here's some more Pimpernel. Look at this picture though. What could they be? We have no idea. Are they just, we're gonna click on them though. See original listing. Cause we, they are leaving it up to our imagination. Do, are they just rectangular and that's it? I guess that's it. Oh, wow. Cause I would have thought, like I would have thought if I saw these out like, uh, Pimpernel, I wanna see like flowers or like hounds, foxes and whatnot. But I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Maybe they're classier this way, I don't know. Okay, good to know. Even if they're Pimpernel and they're totally plain, they may be worth that pickup. Okay, cool. Good deal. Okay, so now we have gotten a little bit into, we talked a bit about the placemats. I wanted to share with you guys sheets as well because this is something I used to enjoy picking up a lot, vintage sheets or you know ones with subject matter because e even if they're used, sometimes... What were some of the ones I was like Pokemon or some vintage sheets that were um, characters that they don't make sheets for anymore? I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Our Pimpernel sign, they'll usually have like a sticker or somehow they're marked. They'll say Pimpernel on them. Um, let me see if I can go back to that and see if it shows it on there. Uh, okay, this one's got the sticker. There you go. There's like a little sticker down there. Pimpernel. They've got another one too, but... Because I, I, I remember a different one. Okay, so here we have some sold. If you find a Marilyn Manson pillowcase at a garage sale, you it's got $13 on it for you. So here, as you can see, there are some that are still new that um, seem to be doing well. I wonder if I should just... Let's go over to used. Because many times you'll probably find used stuff at the thrift stores. You might find new <clears throat> if you're out, okay, I'm trying to find it off to the side, pardon me. So, wow, Julie, that's a great tip. Julie says, Asian countries love the vintage Disney sheets. I've sold a few for 80 plus dollars. That's really good to know. And you do international shipping or do you do glo global shipping program? I'm just curious. Um, Just for, I'm just, yeah, anyway, just curious. Okay, I'm going to do buy it now and then I was going to do pre-owned. Pre-owned, do, 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 do. I'm looking onto the side, you guys, if you're wondering. Here we go, pre-owned rather than new. Oh, Versace. Yes, if you find Versace, Bolo. <laughs> and, okay, do I have solds selected? Yes, I do, okay. So here we go, um, Rachel Ashwell, simply, okay, the shabby sheet. That's like the flowers and, yeah, it's kind of faded-y looking flowers. GSP, okay, global shipping program, cool. So it looks like, I mean, even Ralph Lauren, which I've, I always thought it was just kind of, maybe it's just me. I see it a lot. So maybe I should be picking it up more because I think, oh, if I see something too much, it's just saturated, but maybe not, you know? And then I get it. Cause like in my spare room, we use white linens. Why? What's the deal with that? First of all, but anyway, it's, it's, I'm getting sidetracked. Because then your guest feels horrible if they stain it, you know, or like my sister-in-law got some makeup or hair dye or something on one of the towels and she was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, maybe I should not use white now that I think about it again. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so here's some more Pottery Barn. Let me tell you now too, with the Pottery Barn stuff, they have um, theme type things that happen um, or that they, they have on their site 
or in their store and then they go away and I know this because they have a whole Harry Potter you know um, line and now they're doing a Fantastic Beast and where to find them line and um, I can't afford it all so I'm waiting for it to come out used so uh, Pottery Barn dinosaur sheets are really cute I, I'm not sure which size sheets would be the best like here's some of the um, vintage ones I don't know my brains Adventures of Tom Sawyer Anime Vintage Kawaii Fabric Sheets. That's another one I'm talking about. So if you saw something like that, that might be, if you're like, wow, that's kind of weird looking. That's like cartoony and I've never seen it before. And that might be something, um, that might be something to keep your eye out for. Julie's saying, watch out for Ralph Lauren outlet store sheets. Outlet stores have brought the value down. Okay. So here we've got some cat ones. This is just a twin flat sheet. Pre-owned, sold for $28. They have free shipping though. Hotel collection. Wow. I mean, you could just Snoopy. Are these, oh, these are curtains. Okay, cool. There are some vintage Ralph Lauren leopard from the Aragon. Is that an Aragon collection, I'm guessing? I don't know for sure. Uh, vintage. Okay, this is a twin flat bed sheet and a pillowcase. Ten bucks. Let's go up and search um, highest to lowest just for fun. And okay, well, uh, this is for like sheet metal, I'm guessing, not sheets. Hang on, I'm scrolling down to see if I can click over more. Oh boy. Okay. Well, anyway. We'll move on to the next section. How about that? Um, but that just kind of gives you an idea that there are lots of really cool things out there in the sections. Yeah, Willow Girl saying vintage children's sheets would be a single bed. We never had bigger beds for kids in the olden days. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it would be hard to say because if you if you have a king size bed, you know how expensive the sheets are. So that would be a good buy common size bed is a queen or a full <clears throat> and then most kids have a twin size bed so they all seem like they would be useful okay so here's a section with like office supplies and electronics and I had my eye on that phone um, one of the reasons being the screen on it, it looked like one of those old business phones let me scroll it back a little bit and then I got to thinking about the big button phones um, for example even the cell phones, like some of the, like my grandmother needed a phone that had the bigger buttons than what we have now. Now you can make the screen ginormous and whatever. Um, but I thought it would take, we, we, we would take a look at some of that because people still do buy phones. So I thought I would type in big button phone and take a look at the solds. I also, did I also select pre-owned? I'm trying to make sure. Because, yeah, you might find new old stock. Um, and when I say that, I mean, like, ones that are still in the package but are old. Um, so here I put used. So we could see. Willa Girl says most kids in Australia now have a double bed. Okay, cool. So here we go. Big button cordless speaker phone for the hearing impaired. So like this one, you can see it's got the little buttons on the side to increase the volume and all that. Okay, so that's one. This is a pair of them that sold for $13.50. That's the handset only. I guess if you got mad and threw it at the TV. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Connie, so these are fun. Like that reminds me of the 80s big time. I had the see-through one. Not of that, though. I had a see-through phone. But that's got the big buttons, 25 bucks. So this is kind of similar to what I saw. That was $14.95, but that's a VTech. The one I had, saw was an uh, AT&T. This one, like the, the easy phone, that would be a good pickup if you found it. The big um, button flip phone style, definitely. As you can see, there's a few different ones here. So yeah, just wanted to draw your attention to that because the big button, look at this one. Wow. 80s, big time. Um, yeah, the big button phones can go for, you know, a fair amount depending on what you got. So take a look if you see a phone with big buttons. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, I'm just scrolling through just a little more to see if there's anything else that jumped out. You know what I didn't do? Lately when I've been doing the highest to lowest, different stuff has been popping up, but it's not even doesn't fit. But okay, we'll just do it anyway. So this is highest to low. So Samsung, big button, flip style. And those are pre-owned, so cool. <laughs> just five elderly big button cell phone. Easy to use. All right, I think we get the idea though. Okay, so let's move back. Ah, Julie's also saying, look for the character phones like Garfield. And you know what? My, it kills me. I'm just going to say it. My dad has a phone in his garage because they, they have a detached garage. And so he has got a phone line out in the garage in case he's outside because he does a lot of yard stuff. Anyway, he's got an old vintage Snoopy phone out there. And it's just getting so gross. And it's one of those like Snoopy is standing up, you know, he's standing up and he's like that. Is it Snoopy or Mickey Mouse? Look at me, I can't even remember. I'm so disgusted, I can't even remember. But anyway, I think it's Snoopy, and he's standing up, and he's holding the phone, and like you hang the phone on his hand, to click, like that. Maybe it's Mickey Mouse. Anyway, every time I go out there in this disgusting garage, I see it, and I'm just like, oh man, I could probably sell that. I wonder if he would notice if I got him another. It's got a really loud ring, so he probably would notice. Never mind. I wouldn't do that to my dad anyway, take his Mickey Mouse or Snoopy phone, whatever it is. Okay. Um, let's see, what else would you look at in the office supply section? There's lots of cool things here. Vintage office supplies. I, I mean, honestly, that's one of my favorite places to look at an estate sale is the office supplies. I'm going to have to see if it's Mickey Mouse. I'll take a picture and share it on Instagram. I'm going to be in Houston at the end of the month. I'll take a picture and you can see how gross it is. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll share it on both. I'll take a picture of it, but it has survived hurricanes out there, and it's gross, and I'm just like, I just want to get a toothbrush and clean it up, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and sell it. Anyway, so it, look at the, I mean, look at the prices here. Party supplies, 25 cents. Wrapping paper, 25 cents. Boxes, 25 cents. Everything, 25 cents. The prices here were just great. I don't, I know I bought stuff. I'm not sure if I showed you if I did a haul or not. Ink cartridges, yeah, definitely. Toner, yeah. Oh, we need to talk about remote controls for sure, yeah. Okay, so here I'm looking at, you know, um, oh, here's neckties. I didn't stop for the other stuff. So, neckties. I stopped picking up neckties. Do you guys still sell neckties? I guess I had gotten so... I don't know. I had some that sat forever and I just was sick of them. I think it was because I was had all the stuff when I was looking at men's suits and stuff. And I was so disgusted with like ugh, all the men's suits that I had that I just got rid of the neckties. I'm going to look up now that Mickey Mouse phone. We're going to, okay, since we're talking about it, let's come over here. Standing Mickey Mouse phone. Let me get my dad to take a picture of it and text it to me. Standing, he's going to think I'm nuts. Mickey Mouse phone. Vintage. I'm going to get comments on this later. That's what it kind of looks like. I don't know. Or maybe it's a Snoopy one. What's he got? Because it holds it in his hand. Let's see if there's a Snoopy one. I feel like it's Snoopy, but maybe it's Mickey. It could be either. <laughs> we should place bets, right? Why aren't they selling for that much? Never mind. My dad can keep his phone. Okay, moving on. All right, neckties. <laughs> but look, I mean, if you look at some of these prices, definitely they're worth a pickup. Um, I'm making sure, let's see what I have used on here. Pre-owned, sold listings, yes, okay. So, this one sold for $40. Um, I don't, I mean, I guess if you're getting for cheap enough, but I guess I just had... I had so many that eventually when I when I purged stuff because I was so sick of looking at it, I got rid of a bunch. And I was just like, what have I done? Why did I have all these ties? Look at this sweet one. This Beatles tie. Buy it now. Zero dollars. These are sold, y'all. Shipping, four dollars. Buy it now. Something must be happening with, with this. There's a story behind this, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to go look at highest to lowest. 
You know what? Well, let's not do that because I know it'll be like crazy brands and stuff. So let's do over $15. Because for me, if, if I bought a tie at a garage sale, oh gosh. Norman Rockwell. <laughs> Look at me. I'm, I need to practice what I preach and just get over it and find one that I'm looking for or one brand or one something that I can cling to when I'm looking at ties. Captain America, okay. But I feel like there would be a lot of those, would there not? Skinny ties, what do you think? School ties, okay, I'm looking over here. <sighs> what do you guys say? You help me. <laughs> you guys tell me, take a deep breath, Margaret, you can do this. This is the tie brand you should look for. And then that's what I'll do. <laughs> okay, I have her Jerry Garcia ties. But I thought those, those would, might, might be like slipping off. Vineyard Vines. Oh, Heather says, I've been looking for ties with naughty pictures hidden in them. That would be fun. And you'd have to go talk to HR. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe bow ties, right? Like not clip-on bow ties, but bow tie bow ties, right? Martha's. Oh, Vineyard Vines, Martha's men's tie. Okay, that might be another one. I've seen that one come up. Let's move on because we all know I'm just grasping at ties here and hoping for better things. Oh, uh, okay, which one am I clicking on here? I'm trying to get my video to pop back up. Wrong one. Do you notice how I didn't label them again? Now I'll cover myself up. Uh, there I am. Okay, let's move on. Hi ties, bye ties. I didn't even stop. Do you see how I just like zoomed past them? I looked at them and the meh. Now the purses here, I will say they were not amazing purses, but um, there were a few brands that I was like, okay, this might be a good brand for us to look at. The, some of them might have been okay if they hadn't been so gross looking, like they really look banged up. Um, so, but I, they may have been picked over already because we got there later in the day. But there were some kind of cool ones that I kind of liked this gray one for me personally, but it, Steven is the brand for that one. Yeah, they're saying in the Taz ties, ugly, bright colored, wide ties do well. They're just so random sometimes. Michael says yes. All right, so, okay, those are all the bags I was looking at. Let's take a look, because I did pull up. There I go again. You need to come backwards. That's what I need to do. Okay, so one of the purses that I looked at, that first kind of woven looking one, was a Coldwater Creek. And they, I think they're starting to bring some of those stores back. I don't know if you remember a while back, the stores kind of went away and they were just went back to their online and catalog presence. But my mom was telling me that they're putting in a new Coldwater Creek store again in her mall. So maybe they're doing better now. And, um,. <laughs> Again, my, the purse I looked at was kind of similar to this black one here, but it was really a kind of a mess. So let's look. I'm going to look from 15 to 35 bucks. Why not? And then we can look over 35 just to see, you know, what we would look for out there. You know, let's do the higher end ones. <laughs> I changed my mind over 35 because why not? Okay. So leather crossbody, this one is a organizer crossbody. I've been noticing a lot of people liking the crossbody bags. That's another crossbody. Okay, cool. And then and the other one that I saw there that I was look, looking at personally was a Steven bag, which is done by Steve Madden. And it was a nice leather bag. These are just sold. So let's do highest. And... Oh, this is pulling up other stuff. So, Stephen by Stevens Tote Shopper Satchel. That's kind of a big, bigger bag. And I, I've sold some vintage ones. Dan's asking if I've ever sold the harder cased handbags. Vintage ones I have. So, I mean, the Stephen brand is... Some of these are not so great, but some of them are okay. All right. I mean, it's worth a look up. And then I hadn't seen that Kurgo bag before. And what it is, is like a brand of dog accessories. Dog? Dog bag. It's, it feels weird to say it's a dog bag. 
but a dog carrier. I don't know for sure that that was a dog bag. I guess, look at this one. It was kind of like what it was. It was a pet supply travel tote for your dog. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go back to the thrift store and see what else we see there. How many friends do we have watching, by the way? Hey, go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching live or you're watching later, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being here. So looking a little more at the bags. That's a crossbody. What was wrong with it? I think it was a mess. I didn't, I guess I didn't look at it too closely. Now I'm looking at it. Does that, if you make videos of yourself at the thrift store and then you go back and watch it later, do you ever see things you missed? I do all the time. All right. And then the hats here were just blech. Um, they were pretty bad. There were none that I wanted to pick up. But if I'm wrong, if you're like, well, I would have picked up that M. Kim hat or that Icom hat. You should have looked at that twice, Margaret. Scold away because maybe I should have. There's a Harris hat. It's really faded. And what else? Hang on, I'm going to come look at that in a second. So over here... This is another thing. There was a stein up here. I wish I had looked a little closer at that right there. I did. I couldn't even see what the brand was or what was written on it because I zoomed past it so fast. Okay, then this section, oh my gosh. So this St. Vinny's has got like this sort of outdoor section. That's just crazy mayhem with like lots of random stuff. That giant rug right there that you can't see because my picture's on top of it. Let me move me. Let's see if I can move me. This, that braided mat that I was just telling you, I love those. So my sister had already gone out into this area before us. And as soon as I walked through these double doors to go out to this section, I see this ginormous braided mat. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want this braided mat. And the next thing I know, here comes my sister down the walkway. She's like, I'm getting the braided mat. I'm like, ah, <laughs> she got it though. Um, anyway, I was like, if you don't get it, I am. So it's on her back patio now. All right, moving on. So it's a really cool, this St. Vinny's is just really cool. So they have all these frames and they're sorted by size, which is super helpful. And they're really, really cheap. Um, so I did end up picking one frame up. So this makes me think I definitely haven't shown you the haul from this store because I bought this frame right here, this um, vintage, like carved wooden frame. It's, what was it? Uh, 25 cents 50 cents something like that 25 cents but I loved the color I loved like how scuffed up it was um, and so some of these vintage frames can go for a nice profit look at that a dollar if you I mean there's that mat that I didn't get to buy anyway <laughs> okay let me come back oh I'm blocking the chat again okay I'm gonna get this there we go okay um, so let's take a look at the vintage frames. I I am on the verge of wanting to keep that green frame because it's so cool. But I thought we would take a look at it anyway. Let me jump in the chat real fast. Uh, oh yeah, Julie says, don't forget the fanny packs. You know, I bought two fanny packs. One was a Kodak camera, like film one. I can't remember what the other one was. And my kids took them. What am I going to do? Right. Um, I'm just seeing before I move on if there's anything. Do, 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 do. Julie says, look for the Mastin frames that have gold in them. Ooh, that's good, good to know. I didn't know about that. So this, I'm going to have to look that one up. Um, the search that I did here was for vintage picture frame, wooden carved just to kind of get a feel for kind of what I saw before, you know, with my the green one that I picked up. So these are just carved wooden old frames. I like these with the stands on them. That's pretty cool. Or they're on the stands. Um, that one's silver 24. I feel like on some of these you could just kind of ask your price because especially if they're hand done and really cool. Look at this one. Grape leaf design, picture photo frame, 6320. Yeah, I mean, if they're really, really nicely done, really nicely carved, I feel like you could just 
ask your price because somebody's going to come along and that's going to be exactly what they're looking for. Because if I sell the green one, that's what's going to happen. But I kind of want to keep it. So here's another one. Beveled glass, silk backing, vintage. I just need to go through, back to her St. Vinny's and dig through all those frames. I just picked up the green one. It was on top and it looked really cool. Okay. Uh, Julie says, I bought a Mastin frame for 25 cents, sold for $50. Let's go, I'm going to type that in just because I'm curious. And that's why we're here, right? We're here to learn. Mastin frame. Okay. Well, let me do a search up here for it. How about that? Take that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So they'd be like, Matt. Am I misspelling it? I am misspelling it. That's probably why I couldn't find it. Matson. Matt soon. Okay, okay, now I see. I'm going back now. Matt soon. Matson. Oh, look at me. Matson frame. Okay, but they have other stuff too. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now I see. Okay. I just want to familiarize myself with it and have you also familiarize yourself with it if you're watching. Wow. That's really cool. Okay. I will definitely keep my eye out for those. Are they wooden or are they just totally metal? Are they wood like gilt? Like are they painted wood? I don't know. Gold or this is the word that I can't say it. Or malu. Okay. So there's that. Let's move on. Okay, I did, I've talked about um, housewares like this before, lids and things. If you find like, um, like Crusade, things like that, those can go for good money. Uh, jars, and I was looking at the thermoses, but I didn't know. I had, we had three kids with us. It was hard for me to stop to look things up, honestly. But this is the outside section where it's just like random stuff. It's so fun. You never know. We, like this. Like, what? I almost bought this, but it was broken. And all of this stuff in there smelled like really gross mildew. That mildewy smell that gets in your nose that just like... Uh, yeah. And my nose itches now just smelling it. But the box is so cool, but it was broken. I probably should have got it anyway. Yeah. So anyway, this place... <clears throat> this St. Vinny's just chock full of stuff and it moves so fast so oh, that was the end of that I guess <laughs> um, Bailey's asking if I pick up um, move over here if I pick up Halloween costumes it depends on the character um, so I look at some I mean and now especially like I think about ones my kids are interested in and then I go try to buy them, and I see how expensive they are. So, like, Plants vs. Zombies, Deadpool. What are some of the other ones they're interested in? Things like that. Um, but I would... You just have to kind of look. I mean, it, it, there are some that are just a dime a dozen. But, again, doing um, <clears throat> a little research on them. And if, they, if you get them cheap enough, then it's then it's totally worth it. You know, that's that's a big, I know I hammer that in every time I talk to you guys, but you know, your return on investment, on how much you're paying for something up front can <laughs> change the factor. You know, if I sell something for $20, but I bought it for 10, then that really drives down the amount I'm making. But if I bought it for a quarter, sell it for 20, then that's a great deal. Anyway, <clears throat> I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you enjoyed this format where I go along with you through the thrift store. This was just part of our trip, so I've got more footage, but I thought we would do a little bit and then talk about, you know, stop and talk about the different things we see. And you guys, just as I, as I always say, I learn so much from y'all, whether you're here live and sharing or in the comments, you know, you guys leave great comments. So I totally appreciate it. And let me know again, if you like this format or cause I had the footage ready, I was going to just pre-record it and plunk in the, the research and just 
let it go, but I thought it'd be kind of nice. And you know what? If we hadn't done it this way, there are lots of things we learned in the chat that we might not have learned otherwise. So I hope you enjoyed. Go follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you are just dying to know which phone my dad has in his garage that has weathered hurricanes and looks disgusting. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. And say bye to Leia. There's Leia sleeping over there. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh, here we go. Okay, bye, guys. I'm ending.